Hey guys, what's up? It's Toy House, and today we're going to talk about 10 secret rare items to hunt for in Phase 2 of the Burning Crusade World of Warcraft. I saw a lot of you kind of liked that first Phase 1 secret items guide, so I went through all of the rarest items I could find in Phase 2, and I'm going to go through all of them, starting with the least rarest to the most rare, and actually this got me super excited because... Um, basically there's some stuff here that I didn't know about actually, and it's super, super rare, going to be very difficult to get. So for those of you who are hardcore or really want a challenge, these are going to be for things that happen in phase two. So you can't start actually looking for these yet. You have to wait till phase two drops and then you can go crazy trying to get these. It's going to be pretty hard though. So best of luck to you. I know I personally am definitely going to go after some of these. And with all of that said, guys, let's dive right in to some of the most rare items in Phase 2. All right, so starting up at number one, we have the Time Lost Figurine. This is a 7% drop chance off of Terok. Terok is the new uh, summonable boss in Skedis coming out in Phase 2. This is part of the whole Shatari Skyguard reputation grinds. What the Time Lost Figurine actually does for you is it basically turns you into an Arakoa, which is really cool. And you can actually do stuff as an Arakoa, unlike the Black Whelp from the previous video. You can't do anything. You can actually do stuff as the Arakoa. So it's actually kind of a cool item uh, and it does not have limited charges. So the Time Lost figurine is really cool. It has a 7% drop. So it's rare, but it's not as rare as some of the other stuff we're going to talk to next. Now, moving on to number two. This one, I could see it already. The guys would be like, secret, secret, this is the most well-known thing in the Burning Crusade. Okay, fine, okay, but it's rare. It's super rare. And we're going to talk about the Ashes of Alar. This has a 3% drop chance off of Kael'thas Sunstrider. A lot of people try to get this mount. Not a lot of people end up actually getting it. So yes, it is a rare mount. Not to mention Kael'thas Sunstrider, not the easiest boss in the entire Burning Crusade. Guilds are probably not going to clear him first week, probably not second week. I could see it taking a few weeks for them to even start clearing it. And with a 3% drop chance, you're going to have to kill him, you know, more than 30 times to even see this thing drop. You're probably going to have to kill him probably. Who knows? You could you could probably grind him all TBC and never see this thing drop. And then on top of that, you got to win the roll, right? Or however your guild distributes loot. So it's super rare. It's going to be hard to get. A lot of people want to get it too. It takes, takes, you know, 24 other people to get it to even have a chance of dropping. So very, very rare. Now, something that's super exciting about phase two that I think a lot of people forgot about is that we're going to experience some really cool seasonal, uh, you know, events of those is the Brewfest event. And with that comes some super secret rare items to hunt for during Brewfest. Some of my personal favorites, we have Dire Brew's Remote, which has a 3% drop chance off Corn Dire Brew, the new seasonal boss. This thing is awesome because it has a one hour cooldown. It takes you down to the Grim uh, Guzzler. It's basically like a hearthstone because, you know, you can use this on a separate cooldown as your hearthstone, and then you can kind of ghetto hearth from that dungeon over to, you know, your actual hearth. So use this as a second option after you use your hearthstone. Really, really cool and can be very handy, you know, to second hearthstone, basically. You also can get the Great Brewfest Kodo. This is not Horde exclusive. At a 1.3% drop chance, this thing is pretty dang rare. Not to mention, you got to win the roll against four other people, right? In order to take on Corrin, it's, uh, it's going to be a dungeon. I remember getting this on my Horde character, and I was like, this is the coolest thing ever! It was because I was like an orc or something, you know? Um, so getting that Kodo just like that was very, very cool. There's also the Swift Brewfest Ram. This is going to be really cool for Horde players who can be like, look at that, I have a Ram uh, as a Horde player. That has a 1.7% drop chance, so a little bit easier to get. Moving on to number four, we also are going to experience Hollow's End, which is another seasonal event within Phase 2. I guess I'm being hopeful that within, uh, that hoping that Phase 2 will drop by October. <laughs> Hopefully that's not too much of a stretch, uh, but I'm assuming it'll be out by then. The Sinister Squashling is by far my favorite WoW pet of all time. I just think it's the coolest thing. It's like a little, like, pumpkin plant that's your pet i just thought is the coolest thing not to mention 
I'm kind of a warlock player. I love Hollow's End. It's my favorite holiday. Like, you know, it's dark, it's creepy, it's shadowy, it's undead. It's just cool. It's the coolest event, in my opinion. So anyways, the Sinister Squashling can be acquired from the Headless Horseman, and he has a 3% drop chance of dropping it. It's a pet, stays with you forever, unlike some of the other seasonal items that he drops. Sinister Squashling, I'm going after you. I hope to acquire you this Hollow's End. Number five, we have three pets. We've got Muckbreath, Snarly, Toothy, and Chuck. These are baby cross crocolisk pets that you can get from the fishing daily, each with a 1.2% chance from the bag of fishing treasures that you get from Old Man Barlow after completing the daily quest. These pets I haven't seen at all yet as well in TBC Classic yet. They're all really cool looking though um, to have a baby pet crocolisk and definitely one that I'm going to do my daily every day, see if I can get lucky, but this is just super rare and you can just do what you can. 1.2% might could take, you know, a hundred days almost to, uh, to get even one of these pets. And then imagine trying to collect all four. Good luck with that. So that is super secret, super rare. Good luck getting those pets. Uh, but you know what? Might as well do it every day and try to get them. Moving on to number six, we have the tiny spore bat. You have to get exalted with a sporegar in order to get this pet. Now, I remember in the beginning I said, okay, phase two exclusive. All right, well, this guy is the exception along with the, the other fishing pets. You can get this in phase one, but many people probably don't even know that this is an option to get from sporegar because who even cares about sporegar reputation outside of AoE protection paladins who don't even really have to grind anything. They're probably the only people who have ever even talked to the sporegar quartermaster just to pick up their petrified lichen guard. Other than that, there is a new phase two exclusive item, which is our number seven secret rare item, the Nether Ray Fry. You can get this from getting exalted with the Shatari Skyguard. Again, this is not a super easy feat. It takes time, it takes effort, uh, and it definitely will be a rare thing because not everyone is willing to grind up to exalted with the Shatari Skyguard. Now, of course, the Nether Ray Fry is one of many, many items you can purchase. Obviously, you'd want to get the mount once you're exalted to show that off as well, and that will be... Probably pretty rare, but not as rare probably as the pet because more people want the mount. People, probably less people care about the pet. Now, these next two are super, super secret and rare, maybe even near impossible for you to acquire. Now, they are the yellow, blue, and white moth. If you are a horde player, good luck because these are only sold by Alliance vendors. So if you're a horde, you'll have to buy these from a neutral auction house if it's even listed there for sale. So if you have some Alliance friends or you know how to communicate with the Alliance and you can negotiate having them list those pets, you will have an, an incredibly exclusive item for your faction. People will literally be like, how the heck did you get that pet? Because it's really not accessible to your faction only through that auction house. Vice versa, number nine, we have the golden, red, and silver dragonhawk hatchlings, which are only sold by horde vendors. So if you're Alliance, same deal. It's going to be super impossible for you to get those pets. I figure... After learning about this, I'm going to go throw up some mods on the auction house on Benediction, see if anyone wants to buy them, and vice versa. I'm going to see if anyone's selling any of those Dragonhawk hatchlings to get myself a super exclusive, very rare pet that I've honestly never seen anyone with. Now, at number 10, we have the rarest item of all of the items I could research, the Captured Firefly. This has a 0.1% drop chance off of the Bog Flare Needler in Zangar Marsh. This is another pet that you can summon. It's basically a tiny little Bog Flare Needler, essentially. Very tiny. And it has an insanely low drop chance. What's cool is that it's actually a BOE item. It only binds on use. So you could hypothetically sell this after you get it. Could be a very nice money-making opportunity in addition to the last two items I talked about with the limited faction uh, pets. But the Captured Firefly is another pet. Once again, I have not seen anywhere in all of Burning Crusade throughout all the time I've played and is one that I'm going to consider hunting for myself. But with a 0.1% drop chance, I am not very optimistic <laughs> at my chances of getting this, but might as well try at least a little bit. And with all of that said, guys, those are the 10 secret rare items to hunt for in Phase 2 of the Burning Crusade Classic. If you like this video, guys, don't forget to give it a like. If you want more World of Warcraft content, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Toyhouse, and I will see you in the next video.
Take care.